Okay, guys. How you doing? Hope everybody's doing all right. Today is cleaning day. Finally going to uh, do some maintenance and cleaning on the kayaks. It's pretty bad. I've been neglecting her. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. She's pretty dirty. Look at that. Gonna have to break out. Anytime you gotta break out the uh, the vacuum cleaner for your kayak, you know, you've kind of gone over uh, the uh, specs for cleaning. So I'm going to be uh, giving her a thorough cleaning today, getting her ready. Look, at she's pretty bad. Look at all that dirt and grime, getting it done. So, uh, yeah, we got, a lot, we got a lot to do. The straps. Uh, you guys know what I keep in here. I think uh, I went over it when I did my uh, video on the Hobie setup for 2020. Oh, well, I'll leave you guys a link to that. But uh, these are the bungee straps that I did. Bungee hack for the uh, Hobie heavy duty cart. Shout out to uh, actually Roman Castro. I think was the first place that I saw the bungee strap hack. Uh, I want to say like a year and a half ago, I saw it, maybe maybe two years ago. Um, and then um, at Tommy Tech, I think it's Tommy Tech Outdoors or Tommy Tech Adventures. I'll, uh, I'll link to his channel as well. He did a, he had used, um, I think, the original hack from Roman Castro's channel. And it wore out. So then he um, did a update on that hack with stronger bungees and these uh these clasps these uh, um so i saw his video and um did the hack i was originally looking at getting a boondocks landing gear system for the kayak but i just could not bring myself to uh put holes in the boat so um i figured i would try the uh hobie card hack and if that worked um we would see um, before I put holes in the boat. I'm still not sold on it. Um, I know a lot of people have done it, and I know some of the problems originally with the shorter plates and everything have been worked out. As you guys can see, she is really, really in need for some tender love and care. Um, so definitely overdue for cleaning. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second and get uh, the boat unstrapped and off so we can uh, get to cleaning. So yeah, it's a lot of good information out on uh, on YouTube. Thank you to all of the other fellow YouTubers and also on Facebook. The, uh, the groups on Facebook for Hobie owners, PA owners, or just kayak owners in general. It's a lot of great information, so that's where I got the, uh, like I said, the information on the uh, straps. I just recently did this, maybe a couple weeks ago, and it has worked out thus far. So, okay, so the one thing with the hack is you do lose the pen that normally comes with the Hobie. So when you're putting the card in, you can put the pen to keep it from dropping back through. So you place basically both of these with pad eyes, so you just have to when you're taking it off, put the, uh, put the hooks on the, uh, the loop there so you can hold the holy cart through. So what I do is uh, put it off. Now I'm, I'm going to be doing a video. I hope the audio is coming out. I'm going to be doing a video on the um, on our trailer too. A couple of people have asked for that, so Let's slide it up in. And I'll hook my uh, two connectors on. Hold them. I usually wrap it around the back. Get onto itself. 
and that's enough to uh, hold the uh, card up. So uh, let me let me uh, take this down, and then I'll be uh, right back with you guys. So for those of you who've seen my most recent video with my son Russell uh, and the Houdini fish, this is the donkey leash. Well, not the donkey leash, but um, I have replaced my donkey leash. So somehow, when I clipped on the fish and I clipped it to the boat to be able to grab uh, my phone to take some shots, I thought I closed the loop um, on the clip, but maybe I didn't. And the fish got off, so I lost the fish. And I lost uh, my donkey leash, so we're calling that the Houdini crappie. But got my new donkey leash back. thing I like to do is really get all that sand and throw it out. best stuff that I found to really get your kayak clean and takes the stains away especially the the uh, water level stain on the boat so 3d bug remover um, you can find this in most of the uh, auto part places but this thing is great you don't need a whole lot of it either this and a scrub bus it's kind of all that's needed so what I like to do is to get the 3D um, bug remover, cut it with some water. I'll put it in a sprayer, spray the kayak down in the heavy spots, let it sit and spray it off. A lot of it just comes off uh, just like that for the stubborn areas. I get the brush, a little bucket of water, and go to work. So I usually use about about five ounces of this stuff and then I fill the rest with water so again you just spray this on especially in the uh, stubborn areas let it sit for a little bit and then spray it off and then scrub the tough stuff Let you guys get a good look of uh, the water line. So you can see the stain in on the side of the boat there. You can see what it looks like before this stuff here. And back. And then, like I said, just a little bit of this stuff with uh, let it sit for a while. And then uh, scrub it off. I'll show you the before. Gonna look like uh, we're gonna look at it after and you'll see that most of this will come off just by spraying on this 3d bug remover and then spraying with uh, a regular garden hose so I haven't had to uh, use a pressure washer or anything like that I do scrub some of the stubborn spots a little bit and it usually gets most of the stuff out So as you guys can see, just from the initial, just let this sit, not even 10 minutes, um, it's taken out most of that dirt. And then uh, I'm gonna spray it again. And then I'm gonna work on the, uh, I'm 
going to work on the uh, the sides where I do need to take a uh, a brush to the uh, the water line. Those are usually more stubborn. And like I said, you don't have to do a whole lot of heavy scrubbing. This 3D, uh, 3D remover really does a good job. It, uh, Really, all this there is to it. Pretty simple. Sorry, I had to check see if we're still recording. We're having problems with the GoPro lately. So that's pretty simple. You see how quickly it cleans up. It's good as new. Um, I usually tip it after this. Take out the drain plug. Make sure that there's no water in the hull and it really is and I checked it when I was bringing it over and then um, I get the drive I check over the drive and as it's drying I use this time to also check all the screws and just the equipment and kind of give the boat like a good once over make sure everything is still tight and in order so this is a good time to kind of check all that stuff and then uh, that's it so I'm gonna grab the drive the spray to drive down real good check it I already noticed uh, a crack in the, in my drive I noticed it the uh, last time I was getting off the water I think it happened two trips ago uh, we hit like this underground stump um, and I looked and the rods didn't really look bent but I think that that's when that uh, crack in my drive happened so I'm gonna check it out see how bad it is hope uh, it still works fine, so I'm hoping I can kind of get through it without having to replace the drive. Because as you guys know, the drive is extremely expensive. I don't know if you guys can see, but here is where a section of my drive broke off. Here's what it looks like normally. Here is where it broke off. I don't know if that's something that could easily be replaced. I'm going to be doing some research on that. It looks like there's some screws here that takes this top part off. But I'm not sure if this is all one unit. Or not, I'm hoping that uh, can be some easy repairs on this. But yeah, so if anybody knows uh, and has the information on that, I would most appreciate it. But uh, that's what happened on my drive. So there you have it. She's looking pretty good. Still got some. Like I said, I'm going to be checking it over checking over all the screws and everything, but she is looking as good as new. So that dirt from before, and all those crevices, all that's gone. And like I said, guys, um, 
I'll show you this stuff. Like I said, I found out about it from another YouTuber, but this 3D bug remover, this stuff is the best stuff that uh, I found and just being able to really take all the stains and everything out of the kayak real quick. So again, appreciate your support. I'm gonna be trying to get out tomorrow if the weather cooperates and uh, get some more content. Uh, but thanks for the support. Thanks for everybody who's been leaving great comments on the channel. Hope everybody's staying safe. See you soon. Don't forget to like, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.